Welcome to another edition of the Morning Cup, sponsored by Kestrel Aircraft. Hi, this is Todd Lohenry, the manager of digital and social media at Kestrel Aircraft, and we're here in the Cicada booth taking a look at the TBM 900, which was just recently announced. I'm here with Ken Dono from Columbia Aircraft. Ken, tell us who you are and what it is that you do. Well, Ken Dono, and I uh, am the distributor for the TBM product in the Northeast U.S. and Eastern Canada. Okay, and uh, what is it that you're talking about here at the show? What big announcements are you making? Well, I think the big announcement was made back in March when Dar Sakata announced the TBM 900, and uh, the uh, very important fact was not only did they announce it, but they actually started deliveries in March, and uh, to date, I believe almost 30 aircraft have been delivered here, uh, and uh, we have people coming just to see the fact that the aircraft is here, and they can see, feel, and touch a new product. So that's pretty radical. You're actually shipping a product that you've announced. Well, as Cicada has uh, done consistently in the past, is by the time they tell the, uh, the world, the product is done. So the ability to generate a substantial amount of ex excitement and then capitalize on that excitement by being able to deliver product is, has, has been a very, uh, very, very strong thing here at the show. Yeah, that's just like we used to do at Apple in the old days. But can you tell us, uh, I mean, one of the most obvious things here is the five-bladed prop, but can you uh, run through some of the changes that were made and, and what have been the performance increases? Sakata made many, many changes uh, to the aircraft. Certainly a good number of them we can't see because they're behind and under the cowling. Um, they address the way the air gets into the engine and the way the air gets out of the engine. To, uh, to make the same engine that's in the uh, TBM 850, the Dash 66D from Pratt & Whitney, to make it more efficient. So they were able to, uh, to get more air into the engine, and getting more air into the engine, of course, generates more power. Um, we're also talking about uh, the efficiency of the aircraft. It's about 8% more fuel efficient than the TBM 850, and it goes faster. Uh, it is a true 330-knot uh, true airspeed aircraft. The other differences or the things we are talking about are a bit more obvious. The five-bladed prop, the entire cowling has been redesigned. Of course, everybody everybody loves winglets. Um, winglets make an airplane look 50 knots faster just sitting still. Um, they uh, modified the gear doors to reduce drag um, and, in, and uh, have addressed several safety issues. One of the most important being, of course, they added a strake uh, on the outside left of the cowling, uh, underneath the cowling, which actually uh, almost prevents, I don't want to say prevents, but it certainly changes the stalling characteristics of the aircraft. Excellent. Well, this is all great news, and we thank you for sharing it with us. You can find this interview and other great interviews at themorningcup.net. Thanks for watching.